Okay, today we're going to talk about the uh, switch of the, um, these little switches on the Toyota Sora and Toyota Supra. Uh, this particular one is the uh, the Mister switch. So you can see there's a symbol over here and there's a square kind of uh, opening here. So both of these supposed to light up. When you when you turn the light on, only this will light up. But when you activate the switch like this, this one will light up, the middle one. So what happened now, um, when I turn on the lights, this part here does not light up. So that means the bulb behind there, there's something wrong with it, maybe it's burnt. So I remove the uh, the uh, board inside here and check, and check this bulb, it's not working. How this thing is positioned is, the one above here is to light up this portion and the one in the middle is to light up this portion so it's very rarely that you will have the lower portion bulb burn out it's always the upper portion because the upper portion turns on for much longer time than this the middle one only turns on when you switch it on otherwise it doesn't light up so this lights up every time you turn on the light so to replace this bulb is it's uh, quite difficult to get actually but I managed to find the replacement on uh, Shopee, which is a kind of a Asian eBay, right? It's the keyword is Bombilla 3mm 12 volt incandescent bulbs. So this is the original. As you can see the leg is short, right? And this is the replacement that I got from Shopee. They're the same size and they have longer legs, so I'm gonna have to trim these legs. Um, and this is the housing. This housing is made of rubber. Right, this is a very clever design where in, if you look properly inside here you can see two small holes over there these small holes is to separate the leg of this bulb so that they don't touch each other if they touch each other and you supply power um, through this um, circuit board it will burn the whole board so now I need to um, maneuver this bulb inside here uh, this bulb leg inside here and after that, I need to bend the leg so that it goes to the outer holes over here. There's two outer holes over here. Okay, you need to bend the, bend the leg through there, all right? And bend it back outside here, like the original bulb, and cut the legs. So I'm going to proceed and do that now, and uh, we're going to test, test it before we assemble everything back inside this housing. I've managed to uh, put the legs inside here. And you can see they are separated properly through the two holes, All right? So now I'm going to uh, bend the legs on this side and go through the two small holes on the outside and cut the extra legs. Uh, one note is this is an incandescent bulb, incandescent bulb, so there's no polarity for it. You can put doesn't matter at all. Uh, I tried fitting LEDs, but there's no LED this small. So you have no choice but to use back this incandescent bulb. All right, I managed to put the legs through the the uh, plastic uh, I mean, rubber connector, and you can see how it goes through from the center to the outside. And now I'm gonna have to cut the excess uh, leg, and then I can test the bulb. All right, the bulbs are in, as you can see from here. Alright, so now I'm going to install the board into uh, the housing, switch housing over here. It's supposed to go in like that. There's a track over here that guides it. And you can put back this connector, the back of the connector housing. Alright, so you see properly and there's a little clips over here where you just push it in, it will snap in. But uh, that's how you, you install it. But first I'm going to... Um, plug it into the socket on the car and test whether this bulb light up. lights up then I can put it back together okay I've uh, plugged in the socket the appropriate socket for this uh, switch and now I'm going to turn on the light and let's see whether the upper light bulb turns on okay it works so now I can put back the switch and uh, put back all the garnish uh, this garnish basically and test it while it's uh, in the in the switch. 
Okay, uh, let me off the light and uh, I put back the panel and now I turn it on. You can, you can see the cruise control is lighting up, auto drive and the switches for the defogger, the mister and the hazard is turning on. Off, on, it's lighting up now. So the bulb, bulbs work. Alright, I'll put the link to buy the bulbs in the description below so you can buy it uh, you can buy it on ebay so not just shopee just use the correct keyword and you should be fine all right thanks for watching